Good morning. Today is Thursday, January the 13th. Um, I haven't made any videos in a while. I have missed you guys tremendously. I missed you tremendously, so I am back. Uh, I am trying to put together a schedule where I am going to drop at least, at a minimum, two videos a week. So as we enter 2022, a lot of us have our coding goals in mind. Um, the last time I spoke to you guys, uh, I don't think I had taken the CRC um, exam. So as you guys know, who's been following me on all platforms, on Instagram, uh, which is the coding coach underscore CPC, um, on Facebook, which is the Dynamic Medical Billing and Coding Group, uh, and of course here on YouTube. If you guys have been following me, then you understand and you know that I've been risk adjustment coding for years. Um, I've been also helping other people pass their risk uh, risk adjustment coding exam uh, for a minute, for at least two years. Um, so I decided to say, hey, I had got one message one day and this young lady was so excited about me helping her pass her risk adjustment exam. Of course, I've done workshops, um, you know, just all type of things, uh, tutoring, individual or group sessions. So I had got a very inspiring message from this young lady who I helped her pass her exam. So I was thinking to myself, wait a minute, Marciana, you keep helping all of these people pass their risk adjustment exam and you haven't even scheduled your exam yet. What are you doing? These people are trusting you to teach them something that you don't have. How are you helping them pass it and you don't have it? Marciana, schedule that exam. So you know what I did, you guys? I scheduled the CRC. I scheduled the risk adjustment exam um, last year. Took it one time. Boom, bam. I passed it. So now I am sitting before you and I have both my CPC certified professional coder and my CRC certified risk adjustment coder and guess what you guys I have some more exciting news to share um, as the year comes in guess who is the president the AAPC Atlantis chapter president it's me so congratulations to me um, thank everybody who voted. Thank you for supporting my platforms. Um, I have some major things coming up for the Atlanta chapter. And per the AAPC, now due to COVID, everything is kind of virtual, things like that. You do not have to live in Atlanta or the surrounding area to be a part of the Atlanta chapter. You don't. All you have to do is go on. If you're an AAPC member, I have to do is go under your profile and your membership um, and just let them know what chapter you want to be a part of. And being a part of this chapter, you'll receive emails about when we're having our seminars, our webinars, our chapter meetings, our conferences, our summits. You have access to all of that information, which also gives you CEUs. Yes, it gives you CEUs to help out um, with your continuing education to keep your certification valid. So, just want to thank everybody for all of the support um, thus far. Um, thank you so much for voting for me uh, to be the AAPC's Atlanta chapter president of coders. I'm very excited uh, for what's to come for that. So, I just want to get on here and let you guys know we have a lot of things coming up for 2022. So, as you guys know, um, I have a CRC risk adjustment class or risk adjustment course so that course is 10 weeks the risk adjustment course is 10 weeks only so in the 10 weeks i am preparing you for the risk adjustment exam for you guys who don't know um, the aapc has new rules this year regarding the exam prior to january the 1st 2022 the exam was five hours 40 minutes, 150 questions. Now, as of January the 1st, the exam is only four hours and only 100 questions, 100 multiple choice questions. And again, remember, you can use your book 
and you can write notes in your book to pass the exam. So that's great news from the AAPC that the exam is shorter in time and also shorter in the amount of questions. So the risk adjustment class um, that I owe, the risk adjustment course that I offer, actually this is the second course. The first one was I think October the 2nd through December the 18th. So the second course has started, which is January the 8th through March the 19th. And then there's gonna be another risk adjustment course starting up in April. Like I said, it's a 10 week course. And what I do over those 10 weeks, I prepare you. I know what's on the exam. I've been risk adjustment coding. So what I do is with the study guide of things you have to study for the risk adjustment exam, it's so much. So what I've done is I've condensed everything into a curriculum where it teaches you the exact things you need to know to pass the exam. You know how sometimes we'll stay up and we'll study the entire book, and then when it's time to get to the exam, only a portion of what we studied is on the exam. So now I busted my brain, I've done all this studying, and none of this is on the exam. I know how it is, I've been there before. So if I've traveled a certain road, not to say people do not um, learn from their own experiences, but I know when I started coding, there was not a lot of platforms out here. It was not a lot of YouTube people, not a lot of channels or resources that I can go to, that I can find out the information. Anybody on Instagram, I can message. It wasn't open like that as I was taking my exam and studying like five, six years ago or whatever the case. So it just wasn't there. So that's one reason why I wanted to create a platform. I wanted to create a platform where we're all helping each other uh, accomplish our coding goals. If there's information I have, I love to share it. Um, there's no way that I will have access to information that will help you throughout your coding journey. And I keep it locked in or I keep it closed. And so whatever information I have, always feel free to send messages. The email is alliedhealthprepacademy at gmail.com. I'll also drop in the description box. I'll drop the email address. I'll drop my platform links and things like that. So again, I wanted to make this introductory video as far as this is the first video for 2022. Um, like I said, I haven't made a video in months. I've been so, 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 so busy creating curriculums, um, teaching CRC classes, being the president of the Atlanta chapter code or running for that. So also this year, we have a lot of exciting things. I'm getting back to um, teaching the CPC course as well. So this year we'll have the CPC course um, going. We'll have the CRC course going. So my goal is to have everything um, online um, going into this year, maybe, maybe mid-year before June or something, that everything is going to be online where you can just enroll because uh, right now, what I do, and I love how I do it now, um, how my class work. Is anybody, if anybody is wondering, well, how does your course work? So this is how I work. It's over a 10-week course. The risk adjustment exam covers nine different subjects. It covers like the business of medicine as far as money, the revenue, the business part um, of risk adjustment. And as we know, with risk adjustment coding, it's a lot about business, revenue, and money that's tied into those chronic conditions that we're coding for. So then you also learn medical terminology, anatomy, and then there is an introduction to ICD-10 course. There is, um, excuse me, introduction to ICD-10 chapter. So these are the chapters are named. So every week, that's why it's a 10-week course, every week we're going over a new chapter. All of the chapters or all of these, sec uh, these sections that are on the CRC exam, I break it down per chapter. Each chapter, there's going to be a lecture, there's going to be a quiz, and there's also going to be a video attached. So you're learning everything in pieces over the, uh, over the course of 10 weeks. And once you're done with the 10 weeks, of course, you have a final exam, a midterm, and things like that to make sure you're up to par with your learning. And after those 10 weeks, I normally suggest that my students and I do a collective, um, either group session or we do a one-on-one -on -one prior to you testing. So we can just go over all of the information and make sure you're prepared to take the exam. 
So I give you all of the information that you need to pass the exam. You can go back and look out, look at all of the videos because you'll have access to all of the videos, all of the quizzes, all of the lectures and all of the PowerPoints and things like that. So it's not like after the class, I snatch it back. This is information that you'll always have access to. So you can always go back and look over and study prior to you taking your exam. So again, and I'll just start over with the different chapters, just to let you know. So we go over the business of medicine because we know although medicine is medical, it's clinical, it's also a business because you have to have revenue to keep everything going. We have medical terminology and anatomy that you'll learn that's on the exam. Then we do an introduction to ICD-10 to make sure that you know everything about diagnosis coding that you need to know. Then we talk about the different risk adjustment models. There is a CMS, which is Center for Medicare and Medicaid Services. There's a CMS model and there's a HHS model. There are different kind of risk adjustment models. So we'll talk about the different risk adjustment models. We'll talk about predictive modeling and quality care because as we know, risk adjustment is about the quality of care and not the quantity of care, normally known as fee for service. So we'll also talk about how risk adjustment relates to the revenue side of things. We'll talk about diagnosis, documentation, and coding. We'll talk about barriers, excuse me, barriers that exist with the clinical documentation, such as I can't finish a chart because the signature is not on that or um, the documentation doesn't support why we use this diagnosis. And then we'll also go over the frequently coded conditions within the risk adjustment models. So during a 10 week period, we'll go over all of those things. Um, and at the end, of course, you will have a final exam. And at the end of that, you will be prepared uh, to take your CRC class. So I just wanted to get on here and just, um, just introduce myself again. I'm Marcy or I'm MJ the Coding Coach. Most people call me MJ, so I'm MJ the Coding Coach. And I wanted to get on here because I had not made any videos in months and I have not made any this year. Like I said, I've been busy just getting everything lined up for these future coders that's coming into 2022 or our veteran coders who's been coding who need additional information or just knowledge about things or newly certified coders. So this channel is for all things coding. Also, I have my anesthesia exam, my CAMPC, which stands for Certified Anesthesia and Pain Management Coding. So I have that coming up as well. I am going to take my uh, anesthesia coding exam. And later this year, we're also going to be offering uh, the anesthesia coding course as well. So if anybody know about anesthesia coding, you know that's a really, 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 really lucrative uh, coding industry when it comes to anesthesia. So I also have a, a CRNA. If you're not familiar with what a CRNA is, it's an anesthesia nurse. So I have an anesthesia nurse who's um, you know taking her exam as well because she's been doing anesthesia nursing for over 10 years. And so we've kind of collaborated now and who would be better to teach an anesthesia coding course than someone who's been putting people under for over the last 10 years. So it's excited at Ally Health Prep Academy through MJ the Coding Coach. We have a lot of things coming up for 2022. My focus again this year is going to be helping people prepare for the CRC and the CPC. Those are going to be my main focuses this year. And I'm also going to do like I did before, um, have those workshops where uh, we're going to do workshops individually for individual subjects. Because a lot of times, sometimes people don't need an entire course. Uh, maybe I've done everything right or I've passed everything except anatomy and medical terminology. So I am going to also, like I used to do uh, maybe a year or so ago, I'm going to get back into doing that because I got a lot of positive feedback from people that said they missed me doing it or it was very helpful. So what I would do is I would have three hour workshops dedicated to one full section of the CPC or the CRC exam. So we'll do that again where we're going to have workshops coming up. So be on the lookout. Make sure you follow me on my platforms, which is here. YouTube, MJ the Coding Coach, of course. Um, you're going to follow me on Instagram, which is MJ the Coding Coach, excuse me, Coding Coach 
underscore CPC. And of course, on Facebook, Dynamic bill, uh, Billing and Coding, uh, Dynamic Medical Billing and Coding Group. So if you have any questions about the risk adjustment class, you can also check out the website, which is www.allyhealthprepacademy.com. Um, so if you have any questions, you might have a coding question. You might be at work with a coding question. I'm not sure or whatever. So always drop your questions down. So I am here to support you guys on your coding journey. I'm here to support you after you're certified. I'm here to support you even if you're a veteran coder who's been coding longer than me. Uh, so I am just here for all things coding. Remember, do not hesitate. You can always reach out, send me a message, send me an email, and I will definitely get with you. Now understand, I do have a job, do have a business, and I am the president of the Atlanta chapter of coders. Now, I might not message you two minutes after you send me a message, but understand, I welcome all messages, welcome all feedback, um, whatever it is, like, we're part of the same community with the come and go. So I just want to come by and say Happy New Year to everybody. I'm ready to get rocking and rolling with our new coding goals, our new healthcare career goals, whatever it is, I am here um, as your career coach, as your coding coach, whatever you need to succeed uh, in this industry. So thank you again for subscribing to my channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you are not subscribed already. So like I said, I've come with a new schedule. Be on the lookout for at least two, two videos a week. Thank you so much, and you have a great day. Happy New Year.